Hi there everyone, this is Amanda. What I am looking at today is the Beautiful Faces book with Jane Davenport. And it's the Mixed Media Portrait Workshop for Drawing and Painting. And um, I had been looking for this book in Joann's unsuccessfully and I did and I found it on Amazon now I was able to get it through Amazon Prime and I did have to wait for additional shipping so it took me a little while to get it I think it took probably two weeks two and a half weeks um, if you're interested in that I'll link it below for you but I just thought maybe other people out there would be interested in knowing what's in this book so I wanted to show everybody kind of what it is and um, so let's just open it up and see. I really don't know what to expect. So here we go. Beautiful Faces with Jane Davenport. And, and I was just about to say that I expect there to be beautiful drawings. And I am not disappointed. Look at that. How gorgeous. This is, it's fun loving exercises for creating fanciful faces step by step. So that's pretty. Another pretty page. Paper is such a light and fragile support, yet I can rest my life on it. That's pretty. So here we've got the table of contents and then we've got more gorgeous artwork couple ladies and look this one it looks like you can see her rib cage that's kind of interesting um and then a short introduction from jane davenport it looks like i'm um, yeah from jane davenport and then another piece of artwork if you have confidence in drawing you can express ideas that defy language and that looks like a little mermaid right if i'm not mistaken so chapter one is supplies oh wait a minute i missed a page oh this shows her studio how awesome look at that that's incredible welcome to my studio i'm trying to get this so that the glare doesn't hit this um chapter one again is the supplies use whatever drawing tools you have access to okay and then it says when do i use what so it kind of tells um it looks like what supplies she uses and when she uses them look at all these pens right <laughs> like um yes please uh surfaces different types of surfaces to work with um life is simply too short for crappy paper it goes over the brushes the art journal the gesso tip gesso tips um, replace the negative with creativity. So another one, you are the boss of your paint. Pastels, never be afraid to experiment. Watercolor, color is where the mind and the universe collide. Pencils, colored pencils are magic wands. I think colored pencils are my favorite medium. Um, get your hands covered in inky business. So that's ink and markers. Marker magic relies on the paper. Okay. Pens, pens, and pens. A pen is capable of releasing thoughts, ideas, and tension. The artwork is just incredible. I mean, it's worth the book just to get all these wonderful pictures. Stencils help you audition on ideas. So this is on stencils. The next one is ephemera and it says they just make me happy. Oh, I have that one. I have that, that, and that, and that. This is all Martha Stewart. So I have all that. Uh, let's see if I have any others. I have that one. And I think that's it. Maybe some of these um, colors back here, but yeah, I have those two and the Martha Stewart ones. Interesting. Chapter two, drawing the basics. I love it. Okay, it says she's developed a process for online workshops called Draw Happy. So that's interesting. And then it's got steps by steps of how to draw a face. I'm gonna definitely practice that. 
divide and conquer okay so it tells how to divide the face okay grand scale i have no idea what that is but that's something to learn and this is additional grand scale that's pretty reminds me of her rubber stamps the hot zones okay don't know what that is let's see just as in life chasing balance in your drawings can be an exhausting exercise here are some hot zones to look at when you're creating your faces so you have to look at between the eyes the nose mouth and chin um, make sure things line up the ears and the curve okay Jane style whimsical proportions so that's kind of given a flair to her style spheres and light which means the shape of the face and how to highlight it latitude and longitude okay if you globes have all the wonderful latitude and longitude lines try sketching a few globes and using these examples to shift the access point so i guess that makes it so that she looks different ways next drawing the details and it's all about the drama isn't this so pretty um lip service okay so now we're going to learn about lips follow your nose what is waiting in the fertile sea so now we're going to learn about how to draw the nose this is really pretty the ears have it and then we learn how to do the ears whimsical eyes isn't that just like the washi tape brows and lashes and this is upside down but it's very cute i'm wondering if it is supposed to be upside down i have no idea might be backwards fringe and parts so that's the hair um curls and updos more hair love cake <laughs> that's cute wet and windy these types of hair where it looks like there's motion twisted and braided like a princess chapter four paint and create so now we're going to add some color um jane's whimsical techniques this is, let's see, in each exercise, you're invited to join me backstage and see how the final piece comes together. So this is how she puts it all together. Into the shadows, divine, defining the highs and lows of the face. Oh, I can use some help with that. I can use help with all of this because I don't draw faces very well. So this is more of that. And then leave parts of your artwork open to interpretation so the viewer's imagination is activated. Huh. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure I will find out. Layer love. Create art over sketches, notes, journaling, and to-do lists for built-in interest. Okay, so that kind of makes me think of mixed media. Frida collage O. Oh, collage is a liberating way to start a face. Okay, so now we're going to make faces using collage techniques. That one is spooky. It kind of looks like an alien. Um, let's see, defining character. Art born from bits and pieces of your life have an extra richness of meaning. Yeah, I agree with that. This is really cool. It's like a mosaic um, collage up through her hair and look at her face looks like paper mache um, Prince Charming okay this is a cacophony of color and activity by using ephemera to quickly build a complicated background and let the collage shine out through the face okay then look at that bird that is awesome you got flowers and the bird all through her face Collage opens the door to exciting directions in your art. Dreamy skin tones. Okay, it looks like she's using some Copic markers here to color in the skin. And all different shades. Very cool. 
add blush to the apple of the cheek and avoid the cheek bones okay in real life perfect skin is a myth but we can have fun living our facial fantasies on paper ooh, ooh. and then glazes i'm gonna glaze the face I love her. I'm like obsessed with Jane Davenport's artwork right now. Glazing allows colors to mix through layers, giving your artwork luminous dimension. Making clouds. Okay. Pastels are the most whimsical of colors. By simply adding white, any color can be made into a pastel, the softest and most delicate shade of color. Okay, when I first read, when I read pastels, I thought that she was talking about the little colored crayons, um, you know, pastel crayons type thing. But no, she's talking about turning a rich color into a pastel color. Okay. Um, story time. Having two subjects instantly adds interest because their relationship tells a story. I'll agree with that. Stay free. Keeping your marks and strokes relaxed can lend an air of effortlessness to your artwork. I will say that that's one thing I notice is it looks like her artwork just flows very freely. Very cheeky. So that's the brush strokes on the cheeks. And then the painterly look simply means leaving your strokes visible. It's a beautiful way to build volume. That's interesting. Drenched color, vivid hues can sing their own story. That's awesome. Color is an emotive element. Don't be afraid to drench your artwork in it. I am not afraid of color, I'll tell you that. Creating movement. Now, so we're gonna create more movement like we did with the hair in the previous chapter. And then the axis also. So a black china marker has an appealing and imperfect look for details. Interesting. Artwork with movement ignites the imagination. We want to know what happened and what's going to happen next. She looks so sad. Doesn't she look so sad? And then a hot mess. Spray inks are messy, chaotic, and fun. This is something I want to try. I just haven't been able to yet. Chaos can stir ideas and make for a wonderful background that sets artwork in motion. Okay. Neon edges. Oh. Neons are bold, dazzling, and attention-grabbing. Place them where you want people to look. So, like, I see a little neon in the eyes. I see neon in the hair. So that's cool. Blending in colored pencils or magic wands. We heard that before. So now we're gonna color. We're gonna blend with colored pencils. Smooth, flawless skin is a gift of youth and the artist. I think this is the front cover. It's gorgeous. Trust the mess. My personal message for you: Love what is. And this, so this is a ending message. Let your imagination flow. I love the way the paper is kind of, the pattern of the paper is underneath this, the texture. And then there's an e-course that you can sign up for with janedavenport.com. And then the final about the author. So I really like this. Um, I didn't know what to expect, but I'm really pleasantly pleased. And I thought since I didn't know what was in here, maybe somebody else would like to know what's in there before you um, invest the money. Um, I don't think it was terribly expensive. It says $24.99, but I want to say I got it cheaper than that. And it might just be my um, faulty memory, but I can almost, I almost think I paid 15 something or 17 something um, for this book on Amazon. So and I'll put the link below if anybody wants to look at that. So anyway, thank you for joining me this look through beautiful faces with Jean Davenport. And um, thank you as always for subscribing to my channel. And thanks a lot. And I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.